of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. In the previous episode, Speed Gibson, Clint Barlow, and Barney Dunlap of the International Secret Police arrived in Hong Kong, China, hot on the trail of their quarry, the octopus. While at dinner that evening with Dr. Kingsley, father of little Jean, Clint had planned to ask his aide in deciphering the map Marsha Winfield's brother sent her just before his mysterious disappearance, the map describing the octopus headquarters. But Clint does not quite trust another guest, Mr. Wu, high in diplomatic circles, who, unknown to anyone is a member of the Octopus Gang. Later that night, a knife is hurled through the window, barely missing Clint's heart. Mr. Wu leaves as the doctor is dressing Barlow's wound and lets the octopus know that the knife attack has failed. Accordingly, the criminal sends more assassins to ambush the doctor's home, and as they enter the Kingsley Garden, Speed happens to see them from the window. Clint warns everyone to act normally, and the lights are turned off, as if the doctor were going to show the boys to their rooms for the night. Now, put the lights out. We can safely look out into the garden without the octopus men seeing us. See, Clint? There are two of them over by that willow tree. You can just make them out. Good heavens, Clint. Isn't there some way to ward off this... this ambush? Of course, it, it isn't that I'm afraid. I'm thinking of Jean and Miss Winfield. Yes, yes, I know, Dr. Kingsley. Yeah, if it wasn't for them, we could maybe rush that gang of rats and take them alive and kick them. No, no, no need for such tactics, Barney. Where's your telephone, Doctor? It's by the Chinese gong. Can you see enough to get over there? Yes, I have a good reason to remember that spot. Oh, Speed, you and Barney stay here by the window and let me know what's happening out there. But don't let them see you. Okay, Clint. They won't see a whisker. Hey, uh, what can I do, Clint? Uh, go upstairs, Doctor, to our rooms and switch on the light, as if you were making us comfortable. Uh, they can't see into the room from the garden, can they? No, not at all. Uh, good. Now, that light will attract their attention from this room, too. They'll be less secretive in their movements. Will you go upstairs now while I put in a call for the police? We'll keep watch from this window, Clint. And hurry with that phone call, fella. Uh, don't you think that I should rouse the servants too, Clint? No, no, don't do that. That would just cause more confusion. They'd be of little use against such men as those in the garden. We might be able to hold them off, but with Jean and Marcia in the house, I, I'd rather not take any chances. Well, the police will take care of them. But we'll just keep our guns handy in case some well, we come to a showdown. Oh, Here's the phone. Huh? Oh, listen. I'll turn on those lights, and I'll hurry right back. Hey, two more men just came into the garden, Clint. You okay, Speed? Hello? Uh, get me the Hong Kong police. Yes. Have they come any closer to the house yet, Speed? No. I think they're waiting for everyone to get into the garden. I must have spotted them just as they began to come in. And they're still hiding behind the bushes and trees. Kid... You got eyes like an owl. If you hadn't lamped them guys in the beginning and showed me where to look, I'd never see them. Hello, Hong Kong police. I'll send a detail of men to Dr. Kingsley's residence immediately. Yes, it's 14 Lang Su Road. That's right. And have them come quietly and well armed. Yes, there's several prowlers out in the garden. You come right away? That's fine. Wonder how far away we are from the police station. It's only about five minutes from here. I saw it on the way coming up. But what gets me is, how did the octopus know we were staying here? Yes, that's just what I'd like to know, too. But right now, we can't do anything but wait for the police and watch. Wait and watch. I'll watch. We've been watching and waiting for ten minutes, and nothing's happened yet. Except those guys are beginning to close in. Oh, why don't the police arrive? Well, they'll get here all right, Doctor. We'll keep our guns handy just in case. Look, fellas. Isn't that something moving over by the wall? Kid, you've got eyes like an owl. I don't see a thing. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. And I think it's the police. The octopus gang don't see him yet. They're watching the house too close. Gee, this is like watching a play, isn't it? Yeah. 
And it's all right so long as we don't have to take part in it. I, George, the police are surrounding them. The only way they can escape is by coming through this house, and we can stop that. By shooting? No. By leaving the lower floor of the house in absolute darkness. They'll be afraid of an ambush when the fireworks start and try to fight their way through the police lines. Hey, it's starting now. They've spotted the police. Too late. They've got them surrounded. They're starting to run this way. No. No, they're stopping like you said, Barlow. They're going to try and fight their way out. Everybody, everybody keep down. Just in case a stray bullet comes up here. Can't we go out and help the police, Clint? No, no, Speed. We have bigger fish to catch. Can't risk injury from the small fry. Yeah, especially you with a knife wound in your arm already. Ain't that enough for one night, Speed? Oh, I didn't mean for Clint to go, Barney. But you and me... No, thanks. I have to take plenty of chances, so I'm not going out of my way looking for him. Nothing like sitting in a nice, comfortable house, says I. Oh, look. Look, they've captured the intruders. Every one of them. Gene, I'll open the door. Uh, switch on the light speed. It's safe now. Okay. Oh, Daddy, are you all right? Yes, yes, Gene, honey. Everything's all right we now. We heard shooting. Some friends of the octopus was planning a surprise party for us, Marsha. But we surprised them first by calling the police. Well, thank heaven none of you were hurt. How is your arm, Clint? Well, to tell the truth, I, I forgot all about it in the excitement, Marsha. I'll tell you, I'll not tolerate this. The octopus must be captured. That's exactly what we're here for, Doc. But we got a lot to do before we can capture that guy. Yeah. And first thing to do was to go and talk to the police and the fellas they've captured. Maybe we can learn something from them. Uh, I doubt it, Speed. You know how close Ma they are from past experience. Except in Splinters, huh? He was the only one who was going to talk, and then they stopped him. Uh, we'll see the police anyhow, and as long as they're here, they can escort us to our hotel. Well, we won't prevail on your hospitality any longer, Dr. Kingsley. Why? You're only too welcome, Barlow. Well, I know, but our presence seems to attract unpleasant attention, so I believe it'd be better for your household if we return to our hotel. We want to be out the first thing in the morning anyhow. And we'll tell the chief of police to keep a guard here for the rest of the night, just in case anything else should happen, well, Doc. I'll be very grateful. Will we see you tomorrow, Speed? I don't know, Gene. Depends on what Clint wants to do. Mm. Oh, you bet we'll see you, Gene. I'll tell you what. After our business in the morning, uh, how would you and Marcia and your father all like to explore Hong Kong, huh? Going to some of the bazaars? Oh, I'd love it. Can we, Daddy? <laughs> well, I, I don't know why not. It's a date, then. Now, for our midnight callers and then to sweet repose in our hotel. I hope... snooze since we left Alameda. <laughs> well, that's what you get for being in the international secret police, my boy. I'll put on the light. Hey, what's going on in here? A cyclone? Our room's been ransacked. Hmm? Why, yes, it has. The octopus isn't overlooking any bets. Come on, let's see what's missing. It can't be anything really important, because we have the key to the secret police code and Miss Marsh's map copy with us. Haven't spotted anything yet, but they sure messed things up. Look at my shirt. <laughs> well, don't worry, Barty. You know what the Chinese laundries can do to a shirt in America? And we're actually in China now. You're telling me? Looks like they gave them a rough dry. Oh, see, look. Look, here's something on the floor. What is it, Clint? It's a small piece of green stone. Uh, I believe it's jade. Looks like the stone from a ring, don't it? Uh-huh. Say, does this look familiar to you? No. It's carved, isn't it? Yes, it's a good piece of jade, and I've seen it, or something exactly like it before. Where? I don't know, but I'll remember eventually. Well, what then, Clint? Well, then we'll have definite proof that whoever lost this is in the band of the octopus. We know that already. Else he wouldn't have ransacked our room. Yes, but we've talked to this person very recently. Suffering wangdoodles. 
Maybe we've talked to the octopus himself. Yeah, I doubt that. But to someone very close to him. Someone who is high in society. Who is received everywhere. Someone who is more dangerous than all of the thugs and strong-arm men of the gang. I'll feel a lot better when we can talk to our Hong Kong operator and... Oh, the... easy, easy, speed now. No details. Uh-huh. What's wrong, Clint? These walls may have ears. You know, ever since we came in here, I've been feeling eyes on me. We'd better... You mean whoever came here while we were at the doctor's might still be here? Why not? No, no, Bonnie. They'd have slugged as we came in if they'd stayed. I don't know about that. Look, look, look that closet door's open. Huh? It is. Stand to one side. I got him covered. Come out, whoever you are, before I blow you out. The door's open and more. Come out, I say. If you know what's good for you. <laughs> it's a cat. A kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> a cat. Oh, nice kitty. I'm scared. <laughs> well, I don't wonder. Oh, come out. Come out before I blow you out. Oh, I'm going to bed. You guys think it's so funny? Sit up and laugh all night. But you'll be sorry if that cat turns out to be working for the octopus. Oh, so. 